Ah, hello you guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia, aka Princess Glitterhead, and this is my first video on this channel. So you've either found me because you already know me and I already love you, or you found me from my original YouTube channel, which is called Glitterhead Dental Diaries, and I have been documenting my journey with all my dental work this past year. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, you can check that out. I will put a link in the description. Basically just showing myself going through the process of getting snap indentures at a somewhat early age. And um, I'll just tell you a little bit about myself without going all into too much detail. But I'm 35. I have been married for almost 15 years to the love of my life. We've been together since we were 18 and his name is Josh, and we have four beautiful daughters together. Katie, who is 13, Nevaeh, who is 10, almost 11, in like two weeks, Marilyn, who is six, and Amzi, my baby, who just turned five. They're amazing, but we are done. There will be no more babies coming for me. So now that my kids are a little bit older, I have, and after, you know, having myself fixed up and getting myself back to a healthy state, taking care of things that had to be taken care of, especially with this, I'm in a time of my life now where I'm just really happy and I want to share things I love and enjoy doing. And this is one of them. So today I'm just going to show you like basically my Holy Grail products, or you could say the best of 2019 in beauty, but it's not going to be super in depth or detailed probably because the kids are all sleeping. My husband's out there with the kids, you know, making sure they don't get up out of bed and run around and like, you know, do crazy things because that's what they do. But, um, yeah, limited time with four kids and everything. So we're just going to do the best we can do. And yeah, that's it. Hopefully I don't forget anything else. I will try to remember. Oh, but if you do like the look that I have on my eyes, I tried to um, film it. Like not really a tutorial because it wasn't a talking video. I just filmed it. So I'm going to try to either learn how to do a voiceover or just do a zoomed up thing with, you know, I'll put the words of everything I used in there. I'll figure it out if anyone wants to see it. I just wanted to already have it so I would know. If someone asked for it, then I already have a video and I'm going to start working on that to get that up maybe as my next video on this channel. But anyways, for my favorite beauty products of this year, this year was the year I've always liked makeup and I'm, I'm a YouTube junkie. I'm a YouTube graduate, actually. YouTube taught me makeup. I tell you what, like 10 years ago when YouTube was a new thing, I was one of the first big fans of it. A lot of people thought it was kind of weird that so many people were like vlogging themselves and their daily lives. And actually maybe that came a little later. People still thought it was weird that there was people just in their bedrooms chatting and talking to themselves and that there was other people that wanted to watch. And I've just always been, I like watching people and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And I know other people like watching people. So kumbaya on YouTube, you know, but YouTube taught me my makeup, a lot of my makeup skills up until like this year. So when I first got into makeup, most of it, I would pick up off of YouTube and stuff. Lately, Facebook has blown up a lot more. So I see a lot more on Facebook. Not, I'm not really as much in Instagram, but anyways, Facebook lives and stuff became a big thing this year. When I got my teeth done, um, and even, you know, like leading up to that decision to have this done, um, I kind of needed something to focus on and makeup was my therapy. Honestly, it kind of made me get better at it. And it started to feel good because I've been a stay at home mom for 10 years. And I never really felt like I had something that was mine. Like I didn't feel like I had a skill or a trade that I could really feel was unique in the world. Like I could go work somewhere like a factory, of course, but I didn't feel like I had my own talent. So when I started getting into makeup and I started focusing, like I would just chill with myself and put my music on, put my, do my makeup. And like when the kids are in school, that would be my time to just be with myself. And I feel like it really had a huge impact on my life this last year. I feel like I probably focused on my eyes a lot because I didn't want to focus on this. I never used to wear makeup like lipstick, um, I used to wear makeup, not lipstick though, because I didn't really like my lips or my teeth and I didn't want to draw attention to it. So, you know, it's just crazy how things change in your life. But this past year, being able to really play with makeup and start really being able to express myself with it and feel like I, I found something that I'm okay at and I can get better at, it's just a really good feeling. And I want to share things with everybody else that, you know, wants to know. So welcome to my channel. I hope we have lots of time to chat and talk and get to know each other. I'm going to just get into these products that I like and what's been working for me. And I'll try to keep it somewhat brief, you know, or whatever. <laughs> okay, we're just going to start with the basics. So when I first do my 
everything. I wash my face. I didn't bring that in here. My favorite cleanser that I've had for quite a while, for a few years, is by Olay Regenerist, and it's like their anti-age, age refying, age refying. You know what I mean? It's a black and red bottle, and it's got little micro beads in it. It feels like lotion when you wash your face. It has no salicylic acid. It has no benzoyl peroxide. It's just a gentle cleanser. I'm sure the bottle says it does a bunch of amazing things. I'm not really sure what it does, but it does get all the dead skin off my face. It doesn't dry my face out. doesn't aggravate it. doesn't make it oily. It's awesome. It's worth trying. I wish I would have brought it in here because I would have showed you. And then after that, my favorite... Oh, crap. Okay, this might take a minute. My five-year-old came in here and she was like, Mommy, I'm helping clean up your makeup. <laughs> and I had just laid out everything in order of how I wanted to show you. And of course, my five-year-old has now been in here and she's been cleaning it up for me. So I might not be able to find shit. And that's going to be okay. So, all right, what was I going to do? Um, yes, she definitely did. She definitely did move a few things. All right. So what I do after I wash my face, I come in my room and I use one of these, probably by Salon Perfect. This is what I do to shape my eyebrows. I don't really have thick eyebrows, so I don't have to wax them. I only get like stray hairs down here, um, like a couple over here, a little in there, not too much. And I even use this to shave around my mouth, like where you get little baby peach fuzz. I don't shave my whole face yet. I know it's a new thing, but, um, and the kids might come pounding on the door screaming. So there's that. All right, so after we shave up the eyebrows, I do that about every day because, you know, when you're not tweezing them and you're you're just, like, cutting them off, they do grow back faster. So if that bothers you, you might want to tweeze them. If I tweeze my eyebrows, I sneeze every single time that I pluck a hair. So that gets annoying. <laughs> so, and I don't need it. So these work great. With my skincare, these four things. The first thing, my dentist actually makes these. They're by Dr. Todd E. Shatkins from the Aesthetic Associate Center in Amherst, New York. It's just a chapstick, but, oh crap, but he has many different flavors. They're all clear, but they say the flavor on them, and this one is raspberry. They taste like it, and the taste stays on your lips, and they're great. I love them. I've actually given a couple people some, and they love them too. They're amazing. I'm not sure if you can actually buy them on their website, but maybe. So I do that with my lips and then I put my eye, the eye cream that I love is by Rock and it's their retinol correction eye cream, visibly reduces wrinkles around the eyes, crow's feet, dark circles, and puffiness. So I put that under my eyes and on my eyes and around my eyebrows because my eyebrow hairs get, you know, a little bit dry and flaky. And then I really have been enjoying this thing. It's by Clinique, Clinique Smart Custom Repair Serum. So this one's a serum and I put it on before my moisturizer and I put it wherever I'm really dry or red, which is usually around my nose, around my mouth, through my eyebrows a little bit. And that's it, I just use a little bit. And then my favorite moisturizer, I've been using this for like, um, man, probably a couple years. And I probably found it on YouTube, people suggested it. So it's by Olay Complete um, SPF 30 Broad Spectrum Sensitive Oil-Free Moisturizer. I like it quite a bit. It goes on great. It doesn't leave your skin oily. It just it just really absorbs right into my skin and makes my skin feel like skin, but more hydrated. And putting makeup over it has never been a problem. It doesn't make it slip around or anything. And it has the SPF that you definitely want, especially at my age now that I'm 35. I'm a lot more um, more more likely to be careful with my skin because I'm trying to take care of it and preserve it for as long as I can. And I really wasn't careful about that when I was younger. I have a darker skin tone. I don't look that dark, but I'm Italian and I tan really easy. And I used to just let myself get super, super dark every summer. And I recently had to have a mole biopsied. They said it was from sun damage. It was on my back. Maybe I can show you actually. It's healing. They took it off. So that's how the mole looked actually, but they took it off. So now it looks like that. <laughs> Fun fact. And it came back normal. There was nothing wrong with it. So they actually just took off a mole for no reason, but I mean, they said it could be bad. So anyways, that's enough of that. The next couple things are for my eyebrows. So after I put my, my lotion and stuff on, I take a towel or a sock or a pair of my clean underwear. <laughs> Weird. But anyways, I take something and I wipe my eyebrows off because I don't want any of that greasy lotion to be on there when I'm trying to put eyebrows on because I want them to be somewhat precise. So the first thing I do is wipe them off. And then my favorite, actually I have two, but I don't have one with me. My favorite 
brow product is by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Brow Wiz, and I usually get the shade Ash Brown. But NYX makes one that is almost, it's, it's a dupe for sure. Maybe I do have an old one here. I do. Here's the Anastasia one. Mine just is empty and it doesn't have the lid on it. And that's the NYX. And you can see how similar they really are. And they work almost exactly the same. Today I have the NYX one, NYX Micro Brow in the shade Brunette, which is a little bit darker than what I usually would go for. I'd usually get the Ash Brown, but it works great. And to clean them up, I use this concealer by MAC. It's in the shade NW20 MAC Pro Longwear. I love this stuff and I am my favorite brush to clean up around my eyebrows is by Jaclyn Hill, the JH43. It's just the perfect shape and stiffness and everything. I love it. And this is also what I use to prime my eyelids. So after I do my eyebrows, I take, I'm going to try to show you the brushes I use while we go through the things because I feel like it makes sense rather than just waiting till the end and showing you all the brushes later. I'll just show you exactly what I use them for. I think my child might have took that one because I don't see it. Well, here. All right. Yeah, this is almost the same. This is the BH Cosmetics brush. They make a few different kinds. They're um, either flat or angled or round. So I use one like this or one that's slightly angled and then boop, 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 boop. Put the concealer, blend it all over my eyelid and then I blend a little through here, whatever. And then I take this brush, which probably doesn't have a name. It's just like a unicorn. Oh, actually it is. It's by Moda, the Moda brand. I think they sell these at Walmart. So then I take this and I take my Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage and I just dip this in it and then powder over it to set the concealer and then I'm ready for my eyeshadow. So once I do that, then I start doing my eyeshadow. So I will show you, I'll show you my favorite eyeshadow palettes of this year. The first favorite is by Kat Von D. I bought this from TJ Maxx a few years ago before there was any controversy about her. So um, I don't, I'm not, I don't have any opinions. I'm not gonna say any opinions about it. I just really loved one particular shade in this palette and it's totally gone, but it was her matte white. And I swear to freaking God, I can't find another matte white that is as good as Kat Von D. Like, and I can't find it in a single pan. So I'm probably gonna hope that TJ Maxx has more of these palettes so I can buy it again. But it's all matte shades. They're all perfect. They blend beautifully. It's a great palette, like for anybody. You can do so much with that. It's called The Shade and Light by Kat Von D. So that's my number one favorite. That one ran out, so I had to start using something else for the white. And I was pleasantly surprised somewhat recently. CVS has this brand called Essence. This is called Follow Your Heart. And it had a plain matte white. And it's not as bright as a Kat Von D. It's not quite as good as the Kat Von D. But it is nice and matte, and it works really well for, like, highlighting around my eyes. And there is one more that I like a lot for the matte white. I don't like the entire palette, really, but I just rediscovered the matte white in it. It's the Lorac Pro Palette, Mega 2. I've had this for a while. The mirror is busted out, so don't mind that. It's just real life, you know. But there, this white up here, which is called Porcelain, is also extremely nice. And it looks like that. So there's that. Then I would say my favorite three palettes of this year would have to be in no particular order, really, I guess. I mean, maybe I'd say, what the heck? Don't mind us. We're just, I have stickers and <laughs> my kids. All right. Probably my favorite would be the James Charles. I actually bought my two older kids their own James Charles mini palettes for Christmas because they have not been able to leave mine alone very well. They all love it, probably just because of the so many pretty colors. But so this is how it looks and, oh dear, it's looking rough. I don't mind how it looks. Anyway, but that's the James Charles palette. It's worth the money. I really like it. You might notice though that it has a white and the white sucks and I don't like it. All the other colors I have not had any problems with. It's pretty beat up though. I should have just gave the kids this one and got myself a mini one. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, this white, let me see, I'll show you. I'm just not a fan. It doesn't go on your skin the way it looks on my finger. And a lot of people feel the same. It's very unfortunate because the rest of the palette is beautiful. So there's that one. 
And I also used my Jaclyn Hill palette quite a bit. She's also kind of dirty and old. That's what happens when you actually use things like all the time. Anyways, if you haven't seen the Jaclyn Hill palette, this is how she looks. There's a few mattes, a lot of shimmers, but so many options. These green, this little corner right here is quite beautiful, as well as this yellow right here, this orangey red I really love, and this one right here is one of my favorites. They're awesome. Match my shirt. And then let's see, my favorite palette that was not like a mainstream palette, I guess you could say, was the Let's Do Makeup palette. And um, let's see, this is how hers looks. This was probably released like maybe last spring. I love these glittery shades. They're like extremely, they're just extremely bright and vibrant when they're on your eyes. They really pop, even when you only use a little in the inner corner. And um, they're all really good. A couple of them were kind of rough like to blend. I don't remember which one it was. Maybe 915. It was a little bit hard to blend. But other than that, I haven't even gotten to use the blue. I really should. There's a lot of basics in here, though. A couple basics and neutrals and then some bright colors. It's worth, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it just to have these options for your inner corner highlight because they're so amazing. And then, so after I would do, let's see, I'm trying to just go in order of face. I do my eyes first because I usually do something that's going to make kind of a mess and I don't want it to get all in my foundation. So, um, oh, one more palette I might as well show you. This one is by Spoiled Lips Cosmetics and it's their Holy Grail Glitter Palette. I got this a couple of years ago, but I still use the crap out of it. I'm sure they've made new ones by now. I don't know if they have this exact same one. I've used it for so many different looks. They're just like pressed glitter pigments and they work so well and they're beautiful. Don't mind the mess. I know my stuff is a mess. I know my whole freaking life's a mess, so. Maybe for 2020, I'll work on keeping all my palettes clean. <laughs> okay. All right. So that was that. As far as pigments, though, like actual pigments, NYX made a big impression on me this year. I fell in love with a lot of NYX products. And they have their own little um, glitter pigments. My absolute favorite. If you could only get one NYX glitter pigment, I would say to get number six. It's number 06. But this is the holographic one that has rainbowy flecks in it. It's not just plain silver. It's all types of different colors. So when you put it on, like if you just do a line up here, it'll just reflect the light in all whatever colors are on your eyes. It's gorgeous. It's insanely gorgeous. I love that. So then after that, I'd probably do eyeliner. Eyeliner. Found it. Oh, she took a couple. Crap. All right. Oh, well, I'll just show you the two liquid liners. I was going to show you the, the, the pencil one that I like a lot. It's by Maybelline. I think it's Maybelline Tattoo Studio. And it's just a black, I don't know if it's a coal liner. It's like a gel liner. It's waterproof. That's what's in my waterline and my tight line on both eyes. But for winged eyeliner, I started out the year really into the NYX matte, the NYX matte liquid liner. Looks like this has a long brush. You can do really nice wings with these. The only thing is I feel like they dry up fast, but that could just be because I use a lot of them and I wear wings quite quite a bit. Um, Let's Do Makeup turned me on to this one. And she's right. It's really, really good. But then the holidays came out and I saw this one and I think it might be, I'm not sure if it's limited addiction. Uh, limited addiction. I don't know if it's limited. Di uh, I don't know if it's limited edition or not there we go i said it but it's also by nyx it's called the love lust disco epic ink liner and it's gold and it just looks so fancy and pretty that i had to get it this one's different it's not um like the what's it called the brush it's like a felt tip and i just used it today even over the glitter and it didn't dry out and it still goes really smooth it's freaking bomb it's waterproof too, but this stuff is amazing. And actually I can do the fastest wings ever with this particular liner. It doesn't bleed. If I make a line, it's just a straight line and it doesn't skip and it's not like too wet, not too dry. It's very good. I recommend that one. And then I would probably try to remember it sucks that my kid like moved some of my stuff because I had it all there. I was all ready. So 
you know, if something's missing, I might not even know it. But anyways, these are my favorite eyelash curlers of life. They're all, they're by Tarte, actually. I found them at Sephora, some kind of little gift set, but they're so cute. Look how pretty they're like all blinged out. My favorite mascara, I, I'm not really a huge mascara person because I wear false lashes a lot, but I do need it for my lower lashes. My favorite mascara, I think Samantha Schuerman, she's on YouTube. I've been watching her for 10 freaking years. I love that girl. I watch her makeup stuff. I watch her vlogs. I watch all her stuff. She was like the first person that got me into YouTube and I will forever love that girl so freaking much. I think she's the one, pretty sure she's the one that showed us this like a long time ago. So it's a double ended mascara. So you have one side, it's not white though, which I like. So side number one is also black. So you can just use side number one if you want more of a, you know, thin, long, wispy look. And then side number two, I feel like adds more volume and some length, but it definitely helps fill in like the gaps and makes them thicker looking. So sometimes I just use number one, especially for my lower lashes. I don't, I don't really use number two. So that's that. And then for eyelashes, I really would like to be able to show you all my favorite lashes, but I don't have them all with me, obviously. So I will show you a couple of the ones that have made a big impression on me. The ones I have on right now are probably my newest favorite. When I got these, I ordered these on Amazon. And when I got them, I thought it was going to be, or I thought they were going to be, um, way too big. Like I thought they were just going to curl up and look funny. They actually didn't, they surprised me and they're by McKeewee Lashes. They come in these really cute little containers in a nice little box and they are kind of dramatic, but I wore them the other day with just plain wings Ooh. and they weren't too dramatic, but I guess, you know, everyone's different. I like different lashes all the time. So one day I like dramatic and another day maybe a little more wispy. I usually go for longer, somewhat more dramatic, even for everyday looks. That's just the way I like my lashes. Um, and then another brand that I found, I found, or actually these people, this is Lunar Angel Lashes. They found me on Instagram and offered me like a deal to try their products. So I still had to pay for them. I think I paid shipping, but I had a discount. So I tried them. I got three different ones. My favorite ones were by, they were called Starburst. So the box, they're really nice and they come with plastic and the lashes in there, but I've thrown it away and I can't find the other one. <laughs> but that's what this one looks like. It's really nice. It doesn't even look like it would be a whole lot, but it's like double layered. Let me try to take it out. They're called Starburst and they're just really pretty. I guess it's probably hard to show you like this. You can't tell how it looks, but I have pictures of these on my Instagram. So like you could probably see, cause I, I always say who, what lashes they are that I'm wearing, but Lunar Angel Lashes, they have some really, really nice ones. Good quality. I liked them. And another, these ones are by um, Salon Perfect called Extension Seeker D Curl 663. These ones are actually pretty big too, but I can wear these um, for a casual look and I can wear them for more of a extravagant look. And my favorite lashes, I don't have the box to show you, but they're by Ilure and they're just Ilure Lux lashes. They're extremely perfect, like for any look, you can do them with nothing on your eyes. You can do them with a fancy look. I really wish I had something to show you. I'll show you some other time, but you can look, if you look them up or look at them at Walmart or whatever, you'll be able to see them. <laughs> and Eilure makes a lot of good ones and Kiss Lashes do too. Like I really, I haven't tried like tons online. I've tried almost everything that they sell at CVS and Walmart. So if you want to know good drugstore lashes, I could probably make a whole video on that because I know where they're at. <laughs> but anyway, I would say my Jaclyn Hill brushes and my Morphe brushes are my favorite brushes. So let's see. And I recently just got the Jeffree Star eyes kit, like the, like when I got my Jaclyn Hill eye brushes, they're all white like this. And they came in a set like this. And the Jeffree Star brushes are pink like this. And I just got these for Christmas, so I can't really say like there's one that's my favorite already. So I'll show you that. The rest of them I haven't gotten to play with enough. So I don't know which ones will be my favorite, but the one that is my favorite by, G by Jeffree Star, I'm getting tongue tied, is the one that I used today to make this cut crease. And I actually did a video showing you how I did this look. If you wanna see, I have to edit it and get it up, but that will probably be the next video. But I use this to cut the crease and it's the Jeffree Star by Morphe JS11. 
it's actually a little rounded but it's flat and it's kind of like makes it really easy to just make that line right there so i really liked that one and um let's see for my highlight under my eyebrow these two by jacqueline hill are my favorite and i don't know if we need the names but jh40 and this one is jh39 so this one i pack it on under my brow and then this one i you know like blend it in kind of those are perfect for that another um jacqueline hill one is her beauty this is called the beast blender and it's really big it's quite big but it's perfect to blend anything out it's jh30 she's a good one a recent favorite by real techniques that i've had for a while and didn't know was really good is this one it probably doesn't really have a name but this is how it looks. It's by Real Techniques. They actually started off on YouTube too, the girls that made this brand. And I was watching them too, like way before they were famous. It's really trippy. So anyways, this one is just really good for packing on color and also blending it out. Like um, doing looks like this, you can just cover a big space and blend and pack it at the same time. It's awesome. I would recommend that. This one doesn't have a name. It's one of my all-time favorite brushes. And I think I got it on Amazon. It's like a little mermaid one or yeah mermaid type thing it's also another packed kind of brush but it's got a pointier tip so it's good for the crease and like packing color in my crease and then blending it out then these three are by morphe yeah morphe and they're my favorite this one is m321 this one is really good under the eyes to pack and blend but then this one is my favorite m562 and it's a very skinny tiny little blending brush i used this in my video and this is perfect for blending around down there on the lower lash line and then this morphe one m461 is really cool looking that's why i got it and it's really soft but this one is really good for you know blending things to make it look sort of airbrushed it's just the way that it's made so i don't know why i'm trying to actually do my makeup it's already done but anyway I love this brush. It has many uses. You could do a lot. You could even use this under here to like blend concealer. Um, you could use it for wet or dry products. It's really good. And then um, for my face, oh, there was one more by Morphe, the M165. It's just a little angled one. It has glitter on it, but it's very thin and precise. I like to use this to put my glitters on. Found it. All right, my favorite primer is by NYX. And it's called Angel Veil. Vale. It's like 16, 17 bucks at Walmart. Mine's so squeezed out, I can't even really show you. But it looks like lotion. It comes out white. And it looks and feels like lotion or like a moisturizer, but not greasy. And once you, like, rub it in, it really just, it smooths all your lines and pores. And it makes your face look airbrushed. And it's amazing. And my makeup stays on great. It makes my makeup look freaking perfect. Like, I've tried other primers, but this one, by far, is the freaking best like the best the best i've ever tried makes me not even want to use any other ones but um my favorite foundation this year has been by wet n wild their photo focus foundation i am in this the shade soft beige it has a little like applicator thing which is cool so you can you know you can do it sanitary or whatever i usually just swipe it on my face like bloop, 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 and then I use a beauty blender. Actually, it's the Real Techniques one. The Real Techniques beauty blender. That's my favorite thing to put foundation on. But I also like if I was gonna, if you're a brush person, my favorite brush to put foundation on with is by Milani. It's just their foundation brush. It's pretty big. It makes it really easy. And I usually just will like squirt some foundation on it, stipple it on, and then blend it all in. And then we're good. For concealer, my favorite concealer for like the past probably 10 years is Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Light. It has like a antibacterial microbial type of thing, sponge, I guess. Um, I don't know what else to say. It's perfect. It highlights, it conceals, it does everything and it blends in like so smooth. It's unreal. It's just the perfect texture. It's very easy. I use the flat side of the Beauty Blender to, where is it, <laughs> to tap it in. Don't rub, just tap. Anyways, that's my favorite concealer. And I set that with the Airspun that I showed you earlier. And it's called Translucent Extra Coverage. 
and I just use the same beauty blender, tap it, and then bake under my eyes. And then I usually go over my nose, my forehead, and down here. Um, and then my favorite concealer for doing a cut crease like this is by NYX, and it's their Can't Stop, Won't Stop in the shade, what is it? Pale. <laughs> that makes sense. Anyways, it's just super white. It's really nice, and it sets good and doesn't crease. Dropping everything. My first favorite one is by MAC. Their Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. It's just the smoothest face powder, and I swear it makes my skin look perfect. And it's just a face powder. It's not really meant to be like a foundation to cover things, but it has such a nice finish. It's almost like a satiny finish, like a matte satin finish. It is hard to explain, but, and it's not really, it's not very cheap. I'm in the shade medium plus. I think this is probably $30. I don't know, but it does last me a long time. But similar to that is from the drugstore or like Walmart, Maybelline Dream, Dream Wonder. Dream Wonder Powder. To me, this feels, it's a close second. It's not as soft as the MAC one, but it's just about as good. And it looks as good as the MAC one. And I'm in this shade, that's not my shade. I think I'm in this shade nude. This is nude, but it's almost gone. This one is, is really worth getting. It's only like probably eight bucks. So then, oh. And my favorite brush to put it on is by Real Techniques, their huge powder brush. It's enormous, and I feel like it does a good job to put it on and then blend. It's perfect. I love it. And then after we do all that, my favorite blonde, bronzer and brush, blush and bronzer, is from this MAC palette that I've had for a long time. I know you can buy the empty palettes and then fill them at MAC yourself. You can pick out what you want. And I don't really know all the names of everything in here. This came pre-filled. I don't remember what was over here. I think it fell out and broke. But I do know that my bronzer, this is a matte bronzer, and it's called Blunt by MAC. And you can buy that by itself. It's really nice. I think it's very subtle. Yeah, I can contour or bronze with it. That's what I use today. You can't really see. I use this whole palette for my face and everything today. And um, usually if I'm gonna like contour, I use this Little Mermaid brush like this. Probably found it on Amazon. Um, if I want to just bronze, I'll use a brush more like this. This one's cool. It's got like stuff that goes in it. <laughs> but this one's good for blending everything out. So I like that. And then for my blush and my highlight, I use this old Sigma brush. This is so old that I don't have the number, but it's by the brand name Sigma. And it's a great blush brush. It doesn't shed. And that's why I love it. Today I used this peachy one, but this is like the perfect palette. It has a matte peach, a matte pink, a matte bronzer, and then it has this peachy shimmery blush that was like really my favorite for a long time. It's so freaking pretty on the skin. Like you can almost tell. It's like a blush with a highlight in it. And then this, I should know what it's called, but I don't remember, but it's their highlight. It looks matte, but it's not matte. It's almost matte, so it's really, really good for, you can do a lot with it. You can highlight with it like subtly, or you can build it up and have it be more vibrant, if that's a word. But my favorite freaking highlighter of the whole year, my whole life, like holy grail highlighter is by MAC and it's called Soft and Gentle. Also it has a weird sticker on it. Thank you, kids. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Mine's about to hit pan. This is the most miraculous, amazing thing in the freaking world. Look at that. That's what's on my cheek but it's, oh, it just catches the light and it's very perfect. <laughs> I love it, but I really like to have a glow. Like I like that glow. I use this a lot in my inner corners. I use it under my eyebrows a lot, Cupid's bow, my nose. You can do this subtle or you can do it like crazy bling bling. It's amazing. Highly recommend. You gotta try it. Favorite one of this year has been the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the Summer Solstice one. And I also like MAC. Fix Plus. This one's great to get your eyeshadows wet if you want them to be more vibrant. They both work really good. Um, the all-nighter probably works the best at keeping my makeup on the longest. So this year for sure my favorite lip product is by NYX and it's their retractable waterproof liners. That's what's on my lip today. I have um, two of my favorites on actually. Sand Beige which is a little darker so that's around like the outside. I love that brown. That one's sand beige. 
My absolute favorite of the whole year was Natural. And that one's a little lighter. Ooh, that's a squiggly line, but that's what's on the inside here. The dark one's on the outside. And then this one is also by NYX and it's in the shade Nude. And this is more of a pinker nude. Um, more of a pinker nude. I really love it. It's They're so nice. And they literally, you can put them on, go out to dinner, go out to eat, go do whatever, drink as much as you want. And they don't come off. Like the, I will have these lips on all day and I hardly ever have to touch them up. They're perfect. So most of the time, that's all I really put on my lips. I don't, I'm, I'm more into like matte lips, so I don't really want them glossy and sticky, but, um, my two favorite, if I had to have a favorite liquid lipstick, the ones that I like are by Wet n Wild. They're liquid cat suits. This is in 944B Send Nudes. This is like probably one of my absolute favorite colors. Then this one is called Baby Doll by NYX, NYX Lingerie. These ones feel like silk on your lips. They're amazing. But these both, neither of these are waterproof. So you'd have to keep putting them back on. My favorite lip gloss is by Hard Candy. It's called their Max Lip Pout. And it tingles, but it doesn't burn. It's just clear, glossy, shiny. You can put that over just about anything or just on your bare lips and it looks beautiful. And my favorite actual lipstick is by MAC. And it's called Russian Red. And it's like the perfect red. I really like it. Perfect for Christmas and perfect consistency texture. All MAC lipsticks smell, I don't know, it's a distinct smell. I don't know if you'd say like cupcakes, but it's a sweet smell and it's just distinct to MAC cosmetics and I freaking love it. And then I forgot to mention this. This is by Rimmel and it's the shade Tiramisu. And this was my other favorite of the year for liners. It's similar. It's the one on the bottom. It's similar, but it's an orangey or nude. So like a more light, bright nude, I guess you could say. I think that's it. Oh, that's not it. My favorite scent of the year is by Paris Hilton. It's called Eris. And I don't know if I can describe it. It reminds me of how your new clothes smell from the mall, but a little better. Like kind of like the Victoria's Secret store. It makes you feel fancy and smell good. I like it. I got this at TJ Maxx, I think. I highly recommend. Anyways. As long as I didn't forget anything. I think that's my best in beauty of 2019 or as much as I could show you of what I have. Those are my favorite products. Most of those products you'll see me using in my next video. I'm going to try to get that one edited so I can put it up showing how I did this look. And I used a lot of these products I showed you for this look. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe. Let me know if you liked this by clicking the like button. And leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite products were of 2019. And if you have any video requests, feel free to leave them down below. And if you have any questions, anything you want to know about me, ask me anything. I'm an open book. I'm going to link all my um, social media in the description. I'm probably not going to link all the products in the description yet because I'm not a pro. And I, I'm, I'm not, like, I don't think I'll have enough time. So if there is something you missed or you want me to elaborate on or you need a question answered, just ask me in the comments. I will get back to you. And... I think that's it. Otherwise, I do have my dental channel. That's Glitterhead Dental Diaries. You can go check that out if you're interested in that journey. And if you came from there to find me here, leave me an emoji, something cute, like, um, I don't know, like a big smile. Leave me that one so I know that you're from Team Glitterhead Dental Diaries. <laughs> Anyways, that is it. I'm going to let you go because I've been talking for a freaking ever. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you guys in your purchases and, you know, trying new things this year. I think that is it. Thank you for hanging out with me. I love you guys already. See you later.